Inside Timer is changing before our very eyes. Here's the thing, if you don't pay attention to these changes and how they could help you, then you're gonna get left behind. And that platform is becoming more and more competitive every day. Now we know they've got 27 million users, but the number of teachers is increasing too. And as a result, we need to get a little bit more savvy with how we do things on Inside Timer. What I want to do here is show you some of the changes Inside Timer have made onto the platform so that you can use it to your advantage, so you can increase your reach and your revenue. Who am I? I'm the Downward Doug. I'm an Inside Timer teacher who for three years made no money. Then in the last year, I decided to dig into the details of Inside Timer, change a few things, and as a result, I've now made over $20,000 in less than a year. And that trajectory is only going up. I want to share with you what I'm doing, how I'm looking at this platform, and hopefully give you some tips and insights so you can do the same. Now, if you enjoy any of this and you want more like this, you can go over to my school community where you have a whole community of people that are doing the same thing. Links will be in the description below. Let's get into what's changed on the platform, though. So I'm going to move myself to the side here. First thing is they've changed all of their documents to electronic so it all sits on the platform now. If you've been with them for a while, you'll know that you used to get an email which would have your statement in there. You'd open it up and see how you've done. Now, I'm a big fan of checking your statement, not to be like, how much money did I make? But rather, where's the money coming from? So you want to really take apart and analyze what's going on so you can pay attention to where you want to put more effort into and what's working and what's not. Now, personally, I don't only just check my revenue on the statement. I also have a notes folder where I look at how much I've done. So maybe I can show that to you. Apologies, I wasn't prepared for this in such time of tracker. There you go. So I know that in January I did these, what is it? One, two, three, four, five tracks and a course. Okay. I was like, I don't know if that's enough. So in February, I was like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine meditations and a course. So then I'll come here and I'll look at how I earned in those two months. Okay, so January was a bumper month. So I know there's something cool about January. My course did very well. My engagement was out of control because uh, I really tapped into something that people wanted. Now, February, how did this go? Okay, still pretty good. Uh, course engagement down because the course wasn't as popular. However, the free plays and the premium plays are now kind of neck and neck. So something's working. So you want to make sure you're looking at this all the time. And like I say, not only look at your statements, but also I like to track uh, not only what I'm doing, I actually track how long it takes me to, so that I'm kind of working out what my, my hourly rate is. So I can really make a decision if this is competitive with, say, getting a normal job, because... This is passive income, so it's coming in every month, which is amazing. I just got back from Sri Lanka, and I got paid like the day after I came back, having done no work whatsoever. So it's pretty cool stuff. So first thing, all your revenue is now going to be here under revenue. You can click in each one of these, and you get like a sum total here, which is pretty cool. Um, I track all of this in my Excel spreadsheet. So if you watch my other stuff, like Revenue Revealed, where each month I show you how much I made and what I did to make that money, um, you'll know that kind of up until last year, I guess February, I, I'd made pretty much the 500 pounds. And then up since then, it's been the 20,000, which is just incredible. Um, but it can be done in a pretty short space of time. And if you're talking about like investments, to get that kind of return on investment of time in to money out, it's incredible. Why? Because making meditations for the most part is free. I mean, you've got some costs with, if you have an editor like I do, or whether you, you're getting software subscriptions, but this, the overheads are pretty low. And the great thing is, each time someone listens to that same track that it costs you a fixed amount to make, you get a variable income. So you can get paid for the same meditation over and over again, which kind of leads me to my next thing. So I'm going to jump around a little bit here. The new feature they have is that you can see here, instead of daily plays which is quite hard because sometimes you're like well that just shows me the last 30 days now you can go weekly so you can see the general trend or if you want you can go monthly 12 months or 15 months so big change here so you can kind of see if your trajectory is working trajectory is what i meant to say 
And again, if you use that with your notes folder, you can go, okay, so I know pretty much since I started paying attention to this, things have been getting better and there's been a real increase in play. So this is good. This is what we want. Now, those astute people out there will go, what the hell is going on with this blue line and this light blue line? What started happening is the back office and the inside timer were getting a lot of complaints that, uh, hey, loads of people have listened to something. And when I look at how many listens I've got, it doesn't add up to how much money I'm getting paid. So what they did is come March 1st, they said, look, we're going to start to show you payable plays and non-payable plays. And the difference is if I click on one of your meditations and I listen to it, but I kind of click off because it's not for me or I've got to go, then that's not payable. It's only payable if, if you read here, 50% of its total length or at least two minutes of it are listened to. So you have to make sure that people are engaged enough to listen to the whole meditation. So there's always a slight discrepancy. Uh, and there were some problems with the Star with, but it seems to have they've got pretty good now. So it just, it, it stops the complaints coming in of like, hey, why am I not getting paid for every single listen? I would love to see Insatama put something in where you can see how much you're earning daily. I think that would be a really good motivation. And also if I could see how much each track was earning me. Now at the moment, the only way to do this really is to go onto a track. Let me get one slightly older so uh, you can kind of get a better. Uh, let's go all the way back here. Um, surrender to sleep. Let's try that one. Okay, so monthly, last 15 months, not very good. Daily, again, that was a really bad example. Um, so, but it is good because you can see, like, mm, that one's not, not really hitting the, hitting the spot. So if we go, maybe I need something more recent. How is this one doing? There we go. That's a much better example. So I know that sleep track is not really doing it. But this thing is kind of chugging on in the background consistently. If I go weekly, ah, okay doing pretty well. If I go then monthly, then we can get to see. All right. So that's pretty cool. This came out in January and out of nowhere, it's now really increasing, um, which is great to see. So you can kind of see which tracks are doing well. You can kind of see from the plays over here, similar thing, but it's nice to see it as a graphic too and see what's working, what's not. My advice to people starting out would be try different things out and then hone down on what works for me i know stoicism is something that really hit home it's something that i like uh, and it's what make courses about it too which has really helped out now if you're not sure about what courses to make i've got some good advice for you which is i have a workshop on that which is available on my school platform again that's a community it looks like this uh, and this is where lots of other teachers are hanging out 160 of them at the moment so come join and in the classroom, you'll get free access to um, Inside Timer Basics. So if you want to learn how to set up a profile, upload a course, upload a track, or if you want to check out uh, kind of the mindset you have to be in to start earning over $1,000 a month on Inside Timer, that'll be there. But also have this course topic workshop, which uh, you can purchase for $15, which I think is very reasonable considering that's one comment on one of your courses. So you'll make that money back in no time. Of course, we have the Inside Timer Pro thing. So, but I would, I would focus on this for now if you're not sure about what course topic to use. Okay, so what are the other changes that have come into place? Well, recently, donations has been a, a, a real source of concern because Apple, of course, deemed it appropriate to take 30% of whatever you get donated to you. So that's pretty annoying. Christopher Plowman, the CEO of Inside Time, has been fighting that. I don't know how successful he's going to be, but you know we appreciate his efforts nonetheless. To be honest, uh, it's never been a big uh, source of income. You see here, every now and then you get a whopper, like someone's just giving me $40, which is unheard of, but it's cool. So it's, it's always nice and uh, it's appreciated, but I wouldn't focus too much on this, but just know that even though it wasn't that much anyway, you're going to even less now because Apple are going to take 30% of that money. All right. So what else do we want to look at? This is another cool thing. Followers. You have this track now where you can see how your followers are doing. Again, you got the same time codes here. I can tell you for free 
I've been looking at this and using this to my advantage. Before, I wasn't too sure how well lives were doing. Now I can tell you over there, here, I can't really click it. There's where I went live. That's where I went live. That's where I went live. This is where I went live. This is where I went live. This is where I went live. I'm pretty much doubling how many people follow me just by going live. And I can't recommend enough. If you want to get to know your audience, if you want to trial out certain topics before you put them out, if you want to practice delivering meditations, if you want to get more of a following and get more noticeable and get onto the home screen of Inside Timer, go live. It's free. Everyone gets stressed out about it. It's super easy. Um, as you can see here, I've got a couple that are ready in place. So I just, I usually set up a couple a week. So I've done three recently. I could do five. It's really easy. Choose a meditation that you are comfortable doing and then get out there and just do it. Get good at your craft, right? And connect with the community. It's the first time people can actually see you in real time instead of just this uh, performative voice over a microphone. They get to actually hear who you are. And you know what? Who you are is going to differentiate you from everyone else. So everyone hides behind their yoga voice, behind their meditation voice. Be you, all right? That's your like one unique property. Be you. No one else can do that one. That one's kind of, you've got the trademark on that. And for that reason, let's come to the next thing, which is courses. Courses has had a slight overall, uh, overhaul, not overall. Um, and we can see here now, it actually, as of like today, or maybe yesterday, they put it in order of when you put them out. So I can see my first course ever, the Statman's Guide to Anxiety, a um, thousand listens, a thousand students, um, and then up to the most recent one, Seven Days of Stoic Strength. I split this one up into three, but I can tell you for free, courses have become uber competitive uber competitive so you you can't just make any old course anymore all right when i made this one a stomach's guide to anxiety i put a lot of thought and effort into that one and it was fairly successful but nowadays like it used to be that if you made a course you were going to be on the home screen for like four days because there weren't that many courses being made now courses have been made all the time again how do you counteract that you make sure your course sticks out. So when people are scrolling, they go, whoa, that's cool. I would like to do that. And that starts with choosing a topic and also how you name it is a massive thing. So I've been reading this recently, which is copyright writing secrets. Uh, I'll put a link in for that too. Um, it's not like it's sponsored or anything, but I just found it really helpful for, for choosing my course topic and how do I serve the people that I'm trying to serve. So courses are blowing up. So it means you've got to really choose that course topic. Once again, come join the community in school. Come do the workshop. Come do the free training uh, and make sure that you stand out from the crowd and you actually start to make some money off your courses. Otherwise, if you get lost in the noise, it's going to be frustrating because you would have spent all that time making the course and you would have been like, seriously, that's how much I made. That's how many people listened. It sucks. It's not a good feeling. I, I had that with uh, 12 Days of Wellness. I was like, this is the one. And I was like, oh, excuse me. <laughs> that one, people were not into it. So just know you need to choose well. All right. With that said, I'm going to show you the sneakiest of all hacks that I've found so far. And that's my little gift to you for staying all the way to the end of this of this uh i want to say lecture it's not a lecture it's supposed to be help so here we go your brain of gratitude and your science of, of gratitude now quite often we look at our course replies so in here remember how many of these you get will uh will dictate a lot of your income so it's good to have these right great but did you know if you go here sort by change this survey responses you can finally see the responses to your questions so the survey you have to put on a course you have to put a question at the end of every episode and that actually increases uh, engagement 
and that bears out in a lot of research. So it's good that they have this. Sometimes it can be annoying though, when you're like, I just want to get the course out. However, what I've started to do is use this as a bit of market research. So instead of saying, hey, what did you learn in this episode? I say, hey, what continent are you on? Ah, lots of you are from America. All right, some questions about gratitude in general. And then, what course would you like next? Another Stoicism one, how to deal with tinnitus. Something else, mindfulness matters. Ooh, that looks like a good choice. That is just one of the tips I have for you in my how to choose a profitable course workshop. So again, if you want that, it's in the description below, but it's the kind of thinking you need to have, all right? You have to start to look at these new changes in Inside Timer, and you need to start applying them to your work. You need to get geeky about this. This is what made YouTube blow up all these kind of analytics. So you need to be involved in these things. I hope this has helped you. Um, if you want more help, of course, come to my community. There's stuff like this discussed all the time. Uh, just to give you an example, if we go to the actual community itself, you'll see lots of people asking different things. Um, people saying hello, a demo video, someone's trying to get their yoga going. Um, some promotions, uh, someone else needs some help. Uh, someone else got low ratings. What's that about? What do you do when there's low ratings? Is there a difference in laptops? What do you do about your first track? Oh my God, you got your first track out. That's cool. New courses out. Uh, happy customer. And then that kind of thing. All right, you get the idea. So that is all the good stuff. I want to make sure there was nothing else I needed to show you here. Uh, I think that's it. Thanks for staying with me. I know it's a longer video, but I want to show you all those different features and hopefully you can use them to your advantage. Hope to see you soon. Down with Doug.